Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, repository design pattern. Uh, this repository design pattern uh, belongs to object relational metadata mapping patterns and uh, this object relational metadata mapping patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. Okay. Uh, so here you can see the data source layer. Uh, the data source layer can be a database or a SharePoint list or a web service. Okay. And uh, left side you can see client business logic. And uh, in the middle you can see the repository. So the repository acting as a intermediate layer between uh, client business logic and the data source. Okay. And uh, suppose uh, uh, the business logic wants to query some uh, data from the data source. Then what the business logic will do is it will uh, send query to the repository and what this uh, repository will do is it will uh, uh, queries the data source for the data and it will get the data and map the data to the business entity and send the business entity to the uh, client business logic. Okay. And uh, suppose uh, this client business logic uh, wants to save some uh, information in the data source then what it will do is. Uh, it will send the business entity that will contain the data which uh, we want to save in the data source uh, that will go to the repository then repository will get uh, uh, the data from the business entity and save the data in the uh, data source okay so basically uh, this repository separates uh, business logic from the uh, interaction with the underlying data source or the web service okay and uh, repository mediates between uh, data source uh, layer and the business layer of the application okay uh, so this uh, repository centralizes the data logic or uh, web service access logic and it provides a substitution point for the j unit testers okay uh, here we will see one example of uh, repository design pattern uh, so in data source layer one database is there and it has uh, person table and the person table has uh, ID, name, age and gender and uh, corresponding to this uh, person table uh, I have defined uh, one business entity called uh, person and it has ID, name, age and gender okay and I have defined uh, one uh, person uh, repository and uh, it has uh, five methods uh, the save person, update person and uh, it will accept uh, person entity and delete person it will accept uh, uh, id that is a primary key in this uh, person table okay and uh, find person and based on the id passed uh, it will uh, get the person information from the table and uh, it will formulate the person uh, object and return to the uh, business logic and uh, last method is uh, get persons uh, it will return list of uh, persons okay uh, suppose say the client business logic wants to save uh, uh, person uh, entity in the person table then it will uh, uh, set this id name age and gender and send the person uh, object to the save person uh, method okay uh, so this save person method which is there in the person repository what it will do is uh, it will uh, get uh, id name age and gender value from the person object and uh, save the information in the person table okay so like that uh, uh, suppose this uh, client business logic want uh, some uh, person information from the uh, person uh, table like uh, it wants uh, this joe person information from the person table then uh, what this uh, client business logic will do is it will uh, uh, call the find person method by passing the id id is uh, one okay so it will pass the id 1 so what this find person method uh, which is there in the person repository will do is uh, it will uh, get the person information uh, joe from the person table using uh, hibernate or jdbc and uh, it will get the this uh, id name age and gender and it will formulate the uh, person uh, object and send the person object to the uh, client business logic okay uh, so basically uh, the repository is uh, intermediate layer between uh, client business logic and the data source okay and uh, this is about uh, repository design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye